Hi, I'm Stacy Harris, and I am so excited to share with you today one of our family's favorite recipes. It's the Venison Burrito Supreme. The first thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna get our beans started. First, I have rice already made, so you can go ahead and make that, um, you know, 20 minutes ahead. And now I'm gonna do my beans. First, you um, have, you put in red pepper flakes, your garlic, and your olive oil. And then you just put your beans, your black beans in. You're gonna let that simmer for about mm, 12 minutes will probably do it. All right, now while that is going, this is a really fast dish. It takes probably about 30 minutes altogether. Um, and while that is going, I am going to work on the getting the meat ready. Um, the first thing, this is a hind quarter, um, the venison. And you, if, if you're not really into venison, I, I love wild game, I love venison, and it, it's just fabulous. First, if, if, if you are not using wild venison, you can use any kind of meat that you want to use. You can use chicken, you can use skirt steak, or you know any other kind of meat. But for me, wild venison is the way to go. This is a hind quarter, and if you take it to your processor, just tell them to keep the roast whole so that you can do whatever you want to do with your meat. You can make it into ground beef, you can, um, you can cut these into steaks. And what I have done here is I have sliced it uh, long ways with the grain through the um, hind quarter. And I'm gonna pound it out now, and this part's crucial. It makes this um, very, very tender. So I'm just gonna pound this out and make it, you know, fairly flat. Try to make it even. Get your skillet super, super, super hot. And another thing that you need to do is to dry your meat before you put it on to your hot skillet. Make sure that it's super dry because if it isn't dry, then you are going to, um, it will steam it as opposed to browning it. And you want salt and pepper just to add a little flavor, not too much pepper, but it is nice to have season this with salt. Okay. Now on your skillet, you might want to put a little bit of olive oil and get it really hot. When your skillet is super hot, put your meat right down on it and you should hear that sizzle sound. Leave it alone um, for about probably two to three minutes on each side um, and, and leave that alone. So you'll have your beans, your rice, and your meat. Okay. While that's cooking, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my tomatillo sauce. Um, what I did is I chopped up an onion and some tomatillos and sauteed those and put garlic and um, an olive oil. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spoon that into a food processor. This is just a fantastic sauce. The next thing is add some cilantro and your sour cream. A little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt. Okay. All right. And then we're going to blend our tomatillo sauce until it gets nice and gray, really smooth. Okay. I'm going to turn over my meat. That looks great. It's going to be so good. This is going to be great. Absolutely great. Okay. We're going to move that over here. Turn off the burners and let that rest. Okay, back to the tomatillo sauce. Then we're gonna put a little bit of heavy whipping cream to give it a little bit more power. Spoon it in to my dish. And you can dip or you can, you know, put this around your plate as well. I am, um, do you have the pico de gallo? Do you have the pico de gallo sauce? Right. 
Thank you so much. I'm so glad you're working on that for me. Okay, I'm going to cut into the meat now and you're gonna cut across the grain. You know, you cut the meat with the grain and then we put it on the hot skillet and now we're gonna cut across the grain. It's very tender. I'm going to start plating this up. I'm going to heat this up for a minute so it's a little bit more pliable. You can just put all of these on here just for a minute or two, or you can put them in the microwave for a few minutes and it'll just help them to get a little bit more pliable. Okay, you come over and plate these up. I like to put my rice in first, right down the middle. Okay, and some beans, and I love the red pepper flakes in this, and of course the garlic. Get a few pieces of meat. That meat just looks delicious. Okay, some people really like a lot of meat in it. All right, pico de gallo sauce. This you can eat with chips too, right along the side. And then I like to spoon maybe a little bit of the uh, tomatillo sauce on both sides in and wrap it around. Cut this. plate it up. I like to spoon a little bit more of this around the plate. It makes a beautiful dinner and it's so easy to make. You could have um, you could have a party and you could have people come over and um, make their own. And then sprinkle a little cilantro and there you have it. It's fantastic.